How is everybody doing? We're going to take a look at ABBA on compact disc as well. My ABBA compilation anyway. Um, ABBA, whether you like them or not. You, you like them, even though you hate them. You say you hate them, you like them. Because nobody can resist those incredible songs that they wrote. And they're still as popular as ever, even though they broke up over 40 years ago. So let's check this collection out right now. Right, we might as well start off with this um, album's box set. Uh, I've made a video of this before in its own right, but this is a great place to start because it's actually not expensive. They've brought out another one since. Um, this one is from 2008. Uh, you get um, a bonus track CD on this one and a 40 page booklet, so it's quite nice. And uh, the eight original studio albums. Um, so, this is all you need really. Um, just a booklet, timeline, and disc contents, all that. Mm. This is actually another single that I stuck in there that I found. It has some tracks on it that are not on the um, bonus disc. It's the bonus tracks. Uh, yeah. There's some stuff here from the last recordings they did around 1990, 1982, when um, Under Attack, Day Before You Came, they were recording a new album, but it never came to be, unfortunately. Um, Visitors was the last album. We're going backwards here now. It's mature ABBA, very mature ABBA. All the discs here are like this. It's a mature album. Um, it's got some great stuff on it. I really like it. Um, it's got um, Head Over Heels, which I really like. Um, uh, the Visitors, that's actually quite good as well. Sounds like Super Trooper era stuff. Uh, One of Us is on it, obviously. Um, yeah, Mature. Super Trooper, this was a big one. 1980. Uh, Super Trooper, Winner Takes It All. Fantastic, on and on and on. And Dante and Dante, me and I, side one is great. Great, great album side. Um, Our Last Summer is on it. Lay All Your Love On Me. Yeah, good, strong album. Um, Voulez-vous, this is from 79. There's kind of a disco feel to this one. Uh, think of the Bee Gees. Funny enough, I think some of it was recorded in Criteria Studios, Miami. Uh, Good as new, that's a great, great, great track, great opener. Voulez-vous, I was never mad about that. I have a dream, that's good. Angel Eyes is good. And then you've got The King Has Lost His Crown, that's a great track, really good. Does your mother know? <coughs> that's a kind of a throwaway, it was a single actually, with um, Bjorn on vocals. If it wasn't for the nights, that's a good one as well. Chikatita, that was a big hit single. Lovers, Kiss the Fire. That's a good album. Yeah, it's quite good. Uh, this one, this was uh, when they were at their absolute peak in the mid-70s, 1977. Um, it has Eagle on it, Take a Chance, One Man, One Woman, the name of the game. Songs did start maturing here, I must add. Move on, hold in your soul, and then the girl with golden hair. It's kind of um, thank you for the music. I wonder, I'm a marionette. They were kind of a mini musical that uh, was being written. It's mature, it's starting to mature here. Pretty good. This is the arrival. This was a fairly big album back in the 70s. Every house had it. Um, a helicopter album again, fantastic album with some great tracks on it. When I Kiss the Teacher, Dancing Queen, My Love, My Life. I love that one, you know, that's a good one. Dum Dum Diddle, kind of cheesy title, but it's still a good track. 
and then of course nine me nine you it's a blockbuster and money is also on this um that's me why does it have to be me that's kind of a bit of a cheesy blues song by bjorn again uh tiger and arrival and uh but this was kind of their breakthrough i guess um internationally because it has some good subtracts on it like uh, mamma mia and sos and i do 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 um what i love on this one is um intermezzo number one that's a instrumental of benny playing piano it's fantastic um waterloo yeah i try and get this out Waterloo, great single. I did one of the Eurovision with that in Brighton back in the early 70s, but you know, it's got Honey Honey on it and stuff like that, and um, Hasta Mañana. But uh, it's kind of a little bit, you know, st mi mi different styles and stuff like that. It wouldn't be my favourite. And then we have Ring Ring, but it says here Bjorn, Benny, Agnita, and Frida. This was kind of a compilation of kind of stuff that they had um, been at. Uh, over the years, it is it is the first Alba album in some ways, but uh, this was before they were famous. And uh, Ring Ring is on it. And um, yeah, it wouldn't be my favourite. It's some, you know, rock and roll flavours and stuff like that. And so, yeah, but that's that's it really. That's the, that's the eight studio albums in the box. So onto the CDs themselves, the individual CDs. This is the deluxe edition of Arrival. And it's just the album remastered and with um, Fernando as a bonus because there was an on-album single from around the same time, um, Happy Hawaii, and then this Spanish version of Dancing Queen and there's uh, Swedish version of Fernando and then there's a DVD with some TV appearances and all that malarkey so yeah nice to have uh, these are getting quite hard to get now um, next up we have the album deluxe edition uh, I think they did all the albums in deluxe um, I missed out on the rest but sometimes the features aren't great you know they've got Eagle here as a single edit uh, take a chance live. Thank you for the music. Doris Day version. That's just the kind of piano version. Um, I wonder departure live. Um, gracias por la música. You know what that means. And uh, DVD again. TV features and stuff like that. Some cool stuff there. Yeah, not essential, but nice to have. Um, next up is just the album again. I think um, a remaster. I found this in a charity shop. I think it was 50, 50 cent. And um, this kind of sticks to the 2001 remaster. Um, and a few bonus tracks here as well. Nothing that you already um, haven't heard. Um, and we've got Voulez Vous. Again, this one is. Um, 2001 Master and this is bonus track Summer Night City that was a non-album single the B-side Love Light and Gimme 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 yeah so again you know these are you pick these up really cheap like Super Trooper Remaster um this is from, I think, 90, is it 97, I think, or something like that. Uh, you get three bonus on this as well. Um, gimme, 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 funny enough. Elaine, and put on your white sombrero. Yeah. Next up is The Visitors. Now, this is interesting, because this one, believe it or not, is one of the very first compact discs to 
that was released to market. Um, red face. So I think people say that um, Abba was the first, or Billy Joel, the, the Nile and Curtain in late. 1982 but i think this came out in 83 so it's 40 years old um it just follows whatever poly doors came after that all through the 80s but this is the red face so these will be sought after and the value of this is pretty high um most red face lots of red face uh, pressings like this would be one of the very very first compact discs and it's incredible i got this in a, a house clearance, which was great. <laughs> um, nice to have that one. This is um, a singles, first 10 years. This actually came out in 1982, a vinyl and cassette, uh, because the day before you came and Under Attack were the, the last singles. I think Under Attack was actually the last single in November 1982, um, before the band actually split up. And again, this one is red face. So these are kind of prized possessions. Uncompressed, you know, well, I'm gonna say uncompressed, they're just unremastered, I guess, just mastered for CD. Um, so um, this is a very nice collector's piece and something I never expected to get. Again, it was in a house clearance. Um, set you back a pretty penny, probably 70, 80 euros easily. So yeah, that's a nice one. Next up is ABBA Live. This was released in 1986 anyway on vinyl. I'm not sure when the CD came out. Uh, this is just a, a remaster. Um, yeah, this, this isn't great. I mean, it's got most of the Wembley, Wembley show on it. Um, it's a bit, somebody was saying as well, it's re-edited or something like that, re, re, re tracked with modern drum beats and stuff like that. It just has material from the Australian Tour 77, Wembley Arena 79. It's, it's largely Wembley Arena 79. And then there's another little piece here, Dick Cavett meets ABBA, 1981. So it's kind of in studio, live, and... Uh, yeah, that, that's the Dick Cavett stuff is interesting. It's pretty cool. But again, it's not really a live album as such. The tracks are live, like, but the, you know, it's kind of hodgepodge. You know, this was released in 86, remember? People had forgotten about ABBA back then. I mean, they, they hadn't forgotten. They were probably playing the music at home all the time and stuff, but ABBA kind of disappeared in the 80s. And um, it was only... In 1992, there was a huge revival and Abba Gold was released and then there was massive renewed interest in the band. So along came Abba Gold. This is actually the one with the signatures on the, on the box, which is nice. Yeah. This has got 17 of their finest hits and uh, I guarantee you, this is probably in every house in every country. All over the planet. This one is more Abba Gold. This was out the year after in 1993. Um, this is a very old copy. It's got tarnishing on it. It's half, half knackered. But there's some nice stuff on this as well. Some non-album um, stuff. You know, it's got um, I'm the City, Cassandra. Cassandra is a great track as well. I think it's around. Um, between Super Trooper and the Visitors or something like that. Yeah, it's it's a it's a great track. I like that one. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's good. Um, you know, it's kind of a deep dive, I suppose, more or less like a deep cuts. Um, this is Abba Gold again. This is kind of a new face that's been on for the last few years. Um, Two thousand four. Yeah, sometimes you can get a, a package with the two of them in it. But, um, again, it's exactly the same as the um, original Lab of Gold. Um, this is a, a new version of um, more Lab of Gold. 
um, just a different artwork and stuff like that, and I think remastered as well. And again, the 20 tracks, just a different. Mm, 2008, I think this one came up. Oh, yeah. Just bought this because the other one was wearing out. The disc was a bit sick, a bit funny. And then we have Live at Wembley Arena. And this is a double CD. Um, this came out in triple vinyl, I think. Yeah, I have that as well. But this one is, um, I mean, it's great. I think they played Five Nights or something. But this is a great, um, great set list. Absolutely fantastic. Great playing and stuff like that. But the sound quality on this is a bit... Lots of people complain about it. It's a bit strange you know the some of the things are you know the balance and the mix is a bit strange um yeah hi-hats sometimes are blazing and distorted and yeah it's but i look you know it's it's like going back in history can't really change much in it but it's still definitely worth having and it's a proper live Ab abba album i guess so yeah definitely worth having and this one is voyage which came out um back in 20 and this was their first studio album in 40 years. Um, it sounds like a, it's got the hooks and the feel in it, but it, there's something. Yeah, the materials and subject matter in, in some songs is a bit strange. Uh, yeah, but you know, the melodies are there and it's kind of catchy, but it's, it's. I think it's kind of already forgotten, to be honest. Um, I, I think I picked this up brand new in a shop music shop for four euro so obviously it's not selling no it probably did sell online and stuff like that i'm sure when it came out it was pretty big but other than that um it's not bad like i mean i was expecting uh, no i wasn't really expecting miracles but i was expecting you know maybe catchier songs or i don't know i, I mean the, the, their past recordings are brilliant and it would be very, very difficult for them to even, I mean, yeah, they don't really copy their own sound, but it just has a different feel. It's, it's just, yeah, it would be interesting to see what, what would have happened in 1982 or three if they had released, um, if they had enough, they had enough material without a doubt for an album, but they weren't really getting on with each other. Like, so. Um, I'm sure if they released an album in 1985, it would have been very synth orientated. It's a pity, you know. I mean, they did write the, the two guys, Benny and Bjorn, wrote um, the music for Chess and One Night in Bangkok. It was a single from that in '84, and that's a fantastic track as well. So, um, I mean, they were hugely influential on other bands. I mean, yeah, Abba kind of disappeared, and we got Box Fizz. So there you go. So that's it. That's all there is to say. That's my other direction on compact disc. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and um, feel free to um, share the video and whatever the hell, um, you know, subscribe, like, whatever. Subscribe, like, and support. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.